Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to pronounce cholecystokinin, <laughs> and I'll tell you all about the hormone cholecystokinin. Um, so it is a hormone that is produced by the duodenum of the small intestine. So that is the first segment of the small intestine that you can see in this picture here. That is the pink highlighted portion of the organ. Uh, so it's secreted in response to partially digested proteins and lipids. So it is the first segment of the small intestine that is receiving the contents of the stomach as it, the stomach is emptying into the small intestine. So as proteins and lipids are entering into the duodenum, the duodenum is secreting cholecystokinin. Uh, so it has the action of promoting contraction of the pyloric sphincter to slow gastric emptying. So that's the sphincter that is closing off where we have the stomach that's emptying into the duodenum. So essentially it strengthens the, the contraction of that sphincter so that we have more regulation of and slower gastric emptying. So emptying of the contents of the stomach happens more gradually into the duodenum. Uh, it also stimulates secretion of pancreatic juice from the pancreas and bile from the gallbladder. Um, so both of which are secreting fluids that contain digestive enzymes that are going to help to break down the contents that have just entered into the duodenum. Uh, it also acts on the hypothalamus to produce a feeling of satiety, which essentially means it helps us feel full, um, which is, if you think about it, it's kind of interesting that cholecystokinin is only produced when we eat proteins and lipids, but not carbohydrates. So it's one of the reasons that if we eat food that is primarily just carbohydrates, that it doesn't feel filling, that we don't feel full after we've eaten it because partly we're not secreting cholecystokinin in response to it. So we're not having that hormonal feedback mechanism that's telling the brain that we are satisfied and full. Um, so proteins and lipids do a better job of that and this hormone is partially why. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.